What's up, Internet? Senior Whoopi here with a special guest, Sarge515. Say what's up, Sarge. Not special and simple. There's a fucking difference. Learn it. Uh. Hello, Internet. You know, you know the Internet loves you, right? Because the, yeah, the most yeah. views I have on my Let's Play videos are you and me doing stupid shit in GTA or other shit. Oh yeah, I forgot to I forgot to show you how to change your uh your helmet. This is awkward. So Sarge's character is just a wee bit special. I don't know why he's wearing a helmet actually. Like he's not normally wearing a helmet, that appears to be some form of It's been mandated by his doctor. The last thing I was using was a goddamn plane and then my the pimped out bob. I don't know what the, the bobcat comes with helmets because it's an off-road vehicle. That bobcat's been through a lot. Remember that? That yep. how we put that vehicle yep. through? Yep. I do remember. Good times. How many times did I drop it? Like, I don't know. <laughs> 50 feet off the ground, off the cargo bob? Hundreds of feet off the ground. Are you kidding? <laughs> how many times will we die in it? Many How times. Many he killed in it? A lot of, a lot of Maybe at least two. Now. Maybe at least two or three. No, I'm thinking upwards of seven. <laughs> but I love that number. It's a lucky number. Beautiful birds tripping on the fairway. Sarge is 531 yards from the hole. Nice swing. Beautiful gliding through the air. Oh! Hey -oh. Yeah. All right. I got my golf shoes on. I'm ready to go. Changing the golf shoes. No, I did not. I, I I would have if I had been prepared for this video. But who does that? You who were prepares? Prepared. We were talking about this 45 minutes before we started. No, I mean like if I had left the lobby and gone back to my apartment and changed clothes, or I had just gone oh. to buy new clothes. I could wear shoes that looked like golf shoes, I guess. But I love my uh, my checker print skate shoes. That's just awesome. I miss wearing skate shoes every day. I used to wear skate shoes every day to work, uh, working outside, because, I mean, why not? But after working there for a year, I was like, this is not worth it, because the skate shoes are like 40 bucks that I buy. They always seem to be around that much, and I'm always pissed off when the... Uh, Everything starts to fade on the shoes because I'm wearing them in like dirty environments. No, roll backwards. Damn you. Yeah, I've tried to avoid getting white shoes as they get really dirty here. I've had, I think, two white pairs of white, white and another color kind of shoes. My favorite were like a pair of white and green Lakai skate shoes. Those were really nice. I drew on those shoes towards the end. Remember that, I uh,. That story I told you about when I went to jail, all that shit. <laughs> when I went to jail. Yeah. You remember that? They pulled me out of class. Yeah. I was wearing those yeah. shoes. And, uh, yeah. They, they like, I saw them messing with my stuff and putting it up in, like, stuff in the, uh, I don't know, it was like one of those bags or whatever they keep your shit in when you're in jail. And, uh, they, they, they spent at least... Yeah, they spent at least 20 minutes looking at my shoes because they were so big and like poofy skate shoes. They thought drugs were hitting in the shoes or something. So they were like, they were poking and prodding at the shoes. Like the tongue was huge, so they were like grand theft poking it with needles. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You look down, fucking shame, you fucking whore. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I'm uh. Uh, it looks like I'm getting par if I can hit this right. Oh, what was <laughs> what was that? I totally yeah. caught that on camera. That's bullshit. That is such bullshit. Rockstar, I'm sending this clip to you. Go write him a fucking letter. God damn it! It's gonna be a Go list. Yourself, a motherfucking felt pen, a motherfucking <clears throat> piece of paper. Write him I actually again. have. I have a felt pen and a piece of paper right beside me. Ultra fine permanent felt pen. 
<laughs> Why? I've been writing notes for my YouTube channel and stuff like that over here, and uh, things I need to do next. We're currently on the list. Anymore. Nobody uses paper anymore. That's why we have smartphones. I know. I mean, well, it's on my my notes are on the same clipboard as my manual for my motherboard in my computer. And that was like a month ago, so I haven't touched that part of the notepad in like a month. Because I don't, I don't need to worry about that. I love my motherboard. It hasn't fucked up once. Knock on wood. Here's a question for you, Wolfie. What kind of phone do you have? I have a HTC Evo 4 LTE. Hmm, sounds like a piece of shit. Who's your carrier? Sprint. It's actually a good phone. Sprint. Sprint. You have a fucking Sprint. You're in the goddamn south. Are you kidding me? It's uh, it's not the best. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's not the best anywhere. I'm in fucking Seattle, and we don't get like hardly any service with Sprint. Sprint can suck a fucking chode. Do you have Sprint too? I'm guessing. For? No, I have Verizon. I have a real carrier. You used to have Sprint, didn't you? No, I never had Sprint. I had really. Sprint. I had Straight Talk. I had. Which is great, even though it's sold by Walmart. I I, I stand by straight talking goddamn day of the week. Uh, What's well, their internet I, like? I had I had AT and T. It's great. Walmart, I've uh, it's I've never had anything Verizon. other than but Sprint. They're owned by the same company. I, I really don't know any difference. Verizon owns Trackphone, and Trackphone owns Straight Talk, if I remember right. Goddamn you, internet. internet. I swear to God, if you look it up and you comment, oh no, he's fucking retarded, I will hunt you down and I will kill your children and your whole family. <laughs> but, uh, I have the Evo what? It's the Evo 4G, so you know it's like something's wrong when they name the, 4 af the phone after what type of internet it gets. Yes, but yes. No. It's the, the Evo, Evo 4. Or... I have a real cell phone. Not? An yeah, it's iPhone. an Evo 4. You have a Galaxy. I, you got a... Yeah. That's, I that's have, a pretty good phone. Yeah. I... Yeah, I, I you're not going to hear me complain don't about have an that. IPhone. Yeah, I, I almost... I had a choice when I went to Sprint to get... Like, I... I pocket dialed this girl once, and uh, she had a boyfriend. And this was like one in the morning. I pocket dialed this girl. <laughs> and um, we actually had been kind of messing around so she was a little like trying to hide the fact that she was talking to me as much as she was and whenever I accidentally like rang her up at one o'clock in the morning because I sat on my phone or something like that or it was just like it went off while I was walking in my pocket I was like god damn it so when that happened like I knew it was time to get a new phone so I uh yeah. I bitched and moaned and bitched and moaned until my mom would actually like sit down and listen to the facts that I was putting out. And I was like, we need this, this, this on the plan. It's going to cost this much. My phone's going to cost this much. I've got a job. What do you want from me to make this happen? So we laid out some plans, made it happen. And uh, that's when my rent or my payments to her like started whenever it did. Is like it hasn't gone down since that. It's always been like the same fucking price since then. Really disappointing. Did you pay for your phone outright, or did you make a payment plan? Uh, no. I think we. I mean, I made a payment plan with her, and I think she bought it with a credit card on her own payment plan. So I'm pretty much on a payment plan. But it was uh. At least two years ago now, that phone's got to be paid off. If not, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. Damn. Yeah, I paid $325 for my phone when I first got it. I paid about 300 and something something for my phone, too. I don't exactly remember, but I know it was over the three, 300 meter. Yeah, and my phone originally retails for, like, 700 Shoot the goddamn ball. And I actually got the insurance on it because I cracked the screen. First screen I've ever cracked on a phone. Oh. I uh, God, I have it. insurance on my phone, and uh, before this phone, I had like a slide open phone, and before that, I had a flip phone, and I broke I broke that flip phone three times. 
And other than that, I have never broken a phone, but like that the flip phone, that's when I was like 16, 17, and the like hormones raging and shit, and I would just get pissed off and I'd throw that phone at the ground and destroy it. That's how I broke that phone like twice. And it was all like centered around my mom or my dad fighting and bringing me into the fight. And I was like, I don't want to be part of this shit, and they're just making it really stressful for me and shit. And I was just like, I was trying to just do my own thing and keep out of it and uh, like find other people to spend my time with instead of chilling with my parents. I don't know. So. I had one of those rocking chairs, like the uh, the gaming chairs that's like, you can rock back and forth in. I had one of those things. The thing that's like barely yeah. bigger than your body. Yep, those things are phone destroyers because you, cause you put your phone down right next to it and your phone <laughs> magically slides under it and then gets the fucking crap. <laughs> I can see you just like rolling forward to turn up the volume I, or something I, and hearing a crunch. I remember <laughs> I bought my first phone when I was like 16. And it was a flip phone because back in, back in my day. Back in had, my day. We had flip phones. And it was like 90 fucking dollars. And, um, My first phone was a brick phone. I actually got that when I was 13, have... I think. So, like, my parents started a plan, and it was free. Like, they got an extra phone for free and a line for free. And uh, I got, like, the most simple plan. My screen was solid green, didn't change colors. It told me what time it was, <laughs> and it had a custom message on it if I wished to have that. <laughs> Did you wish to have it? Yeah, it said, like, I, I don't even know what it said. <laughs> it told me the time in Amsterdam or something like that. <laughs> Just because I, I didn't know what else to do with the phone. I was like, it tells me time around the world, like I'm, a, I'm an important businessman? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember I convinced my dad uh, when I was in, like, middle school, I think, to buy me one of those Palm Pilots. Do you remember? Oh my god, you had to have the stylus, and it, yeah, it connected to the internet, didn't it? Uh, mine didn't connect did to the internet. Like, what did it use? But, did it use Wi-Fi? Like, what was uh, Wi-Fi back then? Wi-Fi. Yeah. Wi-Fi, I know, it didn't It didn't really exist back then. It was I more think like, we were still on, like, goddamn AOL dial-up at that, at that, that year. That's about that, that like, time. That was about when, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon was a very popular game. Are you kidding me? I love that game. <laughs> I love game, man. I still play it from time to time. Always kill everybody at the end. I don't know, maybe that made me a fucked up person as an adult, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna push you all into this tiny little patch of road here, and it's gone. <laughs> oh no, I would like, I would like huddle the people up on the, the path, and then I would lower the land below it. And then I would fill it with yeah. water, and then I would yeah. slowly delete the path. That's, that's about the only way to kill mass quantities of people in Roller Coaster Tycoon. But uh, <laughs> you could set up like faulty rail, rail, blah. you could set up faulty roller coasters and shit like that. Yeah, I did that. Like the one that just did the loop de loop, and it went up, and then. Uh, I love that roller coaster because down. it's it's so it cheap. cheap. You can build five bad. of them, and like people don't give a fuck. They'll like go and ride that one, and then ride the one just like it that's facing the other direction. Be like, I had a great time today. Look at these pictures I bought for five dollars. And I'll be sitting there going, <laughs> Give me all your money. Very yeah, good. you could. I remember you could up the speed of that thing. Then you'd wait you wait until full load. Always click on wait till it's a full full load. You don't ever launch it and tell it unless yeah. it is a full load. Speaking of things you should always do, you should always change your. Uh, your maintenance time to 10 minutes and you can set the walking path of your maintenance employees to be yeah. like two steps away from the exit so that they keep constantly bumping they into the wall and the vomit. <laughs> that too like those walkers those uh not walkers i don't know what to call it the uh the landscaping guys you got to make sure that they're not mowing grass or anything stupid like that yeah they or changed that in the most recent one yeah, they changed it to where that was default one? off. So the most most recent one, it's like Roller Coaster Tycoon 14 or something. I don't know, but uh, I watched a Nerd Cube 
play it and it was like super 3D and like looked really good. You could hover down to the level of the people and you could ride the rides too, which you couldn't do in uh, the ones that I played back in the day. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I, I mean, Roller Coaster Simulator is almost as good. Like, an idea for a roller coaster simulator game is almost as good as building your own theme park game. So, like, I would like to have both of those wrapped up in one. So I might buy that on Steam one day when I make a Steam account. I see oh, hey, Mr. on. Mr. Valor's back. But, like, he did not, in fact, get late. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out for real. Unless he's Wait. watching Netflix. If he make, goes make to Netflix, your then he's about to get late. Make your shot first. I don't want to wait. You got 40 seconds, actually. Do what I want. Nope, he did not get laid. Hi, Clinton. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for. Yeah. <laughs> this certainly is awkward. Now, welcome well, to the party. Oh, it's only awkward if you make it awkward. For real. Like Just be yourself. And, uh, Tom, also known as Unknown Soldier, were masturbating together. Hey, that was one time we were both really <laughs> drunk, and we were in Tijuana. So, you know mm -hmm. what? Okay. First of all, do you even know where Tijuana is? It's in Mexico. Oh, you had to pause. You're so stupid, you had to think about it. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say Canada. I, he was, I wouldn't be surprised one bit. Fucking red. It sounds Mexican. Where else would it be? Mm -hmm. Tijuana. What, what U.S. city is it nearby? Really? Dallas. Dallas, oh. are you shitting oh. me? Are you fucking shitting me? No. Tom is literally ten minutes away from it, and you don't even know where it is. Punch yourself in the face, Brad. Punch yourself I was in the thinking, face. I was thinking Texas. And then there's there only are like many couple. answers that you could have went. Chula Vista, but the primary one that most people know is like San Diego. I was going to say Los Angeles. Angeles. He, you should have said which, you, uh, you should have told me which state first off. And then I would have said a city in that state. You, you, would, you shouldn't need to know that. You just said Dallas. That means you would have guessed Texas, dick fuck. <laughs> yeah, but if you told me what California, I, I would have said San Diego. You might have to bleep some of these things. Oh, no, my channel is 18 and over only, so <laughs> feel free to be unedited. That's one thing I found really annoying about that. Like, I went to go watch a, uh, a video for Titanfall the other day, and uh, Whoa, what the like, fuck? you need to sign in, there's age restrictions, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I can find porn um, in like I, five seconds, Do you see but I can't watch Clinton? Titanfall. Yeah, the rage rating is different now. Do you see Clinton oh, Jesus Christ. riding you? <laughs> that was very frightening when I just What's happening? Oh, I'm not riding anybody. This isn't okay. <laughs> you, it would look like he was giving you a piggyback ride. <laughs> oh, well, that's acceptable. That's pretty funny. You're really spectating. How, how far along are we here? No, no, I'm not talking about Brad's pregnancy. <laughs> um, Pull six of nine? Oh. Four slices of pizza in. Alright. Yeah. Good. I got like. Uh, we're not, well, technically, we're not I have nine, a 30 rack with me, but I'm not going to drink all that tonight. Work tomorrow? What do you. Clint? Yeah, I do work tomorrow, but I kind of do what I want, so it's all good. Yeah, because your knee's all jacked up. Well, that too, but I always do what I want, so bug it. Bug life. Go low. Go low? Hey, grow, please. It shows that we're going all the way to nine, unless that like that's not right. Yeah, it does. It says whole nine. Look at it. Seven, yeah, eight, you're nine. Seven right now. They have yeah. If you didn't change anything, it will play it. Oh. Damn. No. <laughs> well, that ended abruptly. Yeah, that, my guy still looks weird. It's like the sun yeah, is like, radiating down on him. Like he's. Radioactive or something. 
Wait, who's radioactive? What is happening? I don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand what's going on right now either. Well, this will be a good place to end this video here. Again, my name is Senior Wiffy. You've been watching the Senior Wiffy Gaming Channel. Uh, Brad, say goodbye. Oh, bye, people. Clinton, say goodbye. Deuces, no one likes Brad. Bye. Uh, Ta-ra. Ta